Ooh, it's cold today. <sighs> I've got one, two, three, four layers on. <sighs> anyway, um, a job I was going to get around to sooner or later, just because I wanted to, was to clean those doors. But it wasn't on a priority list until today when my daughter asked me to stop her door squeaking so much when it opens and closes. So I might as well do the cleaning while I'm at it and oil the springs or whatever, oil the springs or whatever is required to stop the squeaking. See where it is there now, about an inch off the ground. According to the control panel, it's in the open position. So I've got to figure out how to uh, convince it that it's not in the open position. I'd like that inch there to be its normal down position. So I've got to figure out how to convince the control panel that it's in the down position, not the up position. I'm in big trouble. Okay, so the extra buttons I need to access. There was thunder. Probably the longest rumble I've ever heard. There's even instructions. Press limit set. Hold, pop, stop, down. Okay, now it thinks it's in the down position. Hold up, stop down to open the door. Right. Press limit set for the light to extinguish. Okay, and it thinks it's in up position. Operate the door three times to set safety reversing system. Okay. 
try it. Okay. This is my chance to get the hot guy. Ah, come on. Did it hit something? I don't think there's any obstructions. No, something's wrong though. Try again. Uh, Press the limit set. Right. Down. No. It thinks it's in the down position there. Damn it. the door three times here we go wish me luck I'm in trouble if this doesn't work are doing the right thing. The door thinks that it hit something on the way down. But I'm thinking that may be to do with the water and stuff so I might just leave it rest another while. It's the next day. Everything has had time to dry out a bit. I've given it a stern talking to. my life is safe. time it's been two days the door has had plenty of time to dry out but it's not playing any different it's stuffed the motor is running fine it's just the uh, sensors when the door comes down When the door comes down, the sensors are lagging behind. So when it hits the ground, it thinks it's halfway up still. Hits the ground, comes back up again. And there's no sign of it improving over time. So I've been to that place again. 
bought myself a new door mechanism uh, and because I'm here by myself and because <laughs> because I'm here by myself and uh, not because I wanted it or anything but because I'm here by myself I also bought don't tell Rosie an electric hoist so the first thing I'm going to do is set this up hanging from the ceiling temporarily to lift the weight of the garage door and after that not because I wanted it or anything it's going to be attached to the stairs instead of the hand crank to undo those two bolts in there uh, which is just a U a U bolt holding the central pipe or axis axle of the door then when I get those bolts undone I can lift the door take off the old mechanism whack on the new mechanism Bob's your uncle I'm actually confident about this dangerous words I'm semi confident about this because I did the other door already a couple of years ago do all that by myself last night um, changed the motor uh, couldn't have done it without that new crane that worked well and now I've moved it and it's now holding up my mezzanine stairs safety chains on it just in case the crane unwinds itself overnight or something. ceiling so I can actually unhook it and use it in other spots in the shed if I want to but that's perfect I reckon nice little addition to my shed <laughs> 